so okay in order to start this uh, subject open loop and control uh, this control system we have two important things that is open loop and closed loop system before knowing what are these systems what do you mean by these systems and how they influence the control system operation and other things uh, we should know the basic terminologies of the control system now the basic term terminologies will include number 1 we will we, we should know about the what is a system so if i talk about the system by definition system will mean just not the one component in any system but it comprises of number of com components that work together to achieve a particular goal that work together to achieve a particular goal and when i talk about the goal in a control system goal in a control system is control of certain quantity certain physical quantity we will having and we need to have the control of that control is what control is to achieve control can be achieved by automatic fashion in an automatic manner or that automatic uh, fashion means that we don't have to uh, there will be no human intervention no human intervention will be there so that's the meaning of the system so what is the system i will write a uh, system means not just a one component but a number of components that work together to achieve a particular objective so there will be definitely aim objective or goal so that we have to achieve but then when i talk about the system it will not be a component or a device sometimes also but it will be a number of components that together will synergize or synchronize and the aim and objective of the uh, those components working together will be to achieve a particular goal and that goal in a control system is automatic control system when we talk about that goal is to control some physical quantity so that objective will be objective is to control a physical quantity so that control is to control a physical that objective in an automatic control system will be to control a physical quantity and control whenever we talk about the control if we talk about the control control is achieved how control if we talk about control in an automatic is no just a second okay control is achieved in an automatic fashion so when i talk about the automatic fashion that means that means without this without without rather we can write without human intervention so we don't have any human intervention in that case so very clear control is achieved in an automatic fashion and human intervention will not be there 
you know, let me say an example. I have a water tank in my house. I will give a number of examples so you don't have to worry for the time being who's because this is a new system. What means system means that I have got a underground water tank. I have an overhead water tank in my house. Then I have a motor and I have the piping connections connected to the motor. Then input coming to the motor from any tube well or from the uh, PHE public health uh, public health division public health engineering division I got the PHE line and then the water is coming from that that water will be stored in the tank and with the tank we will lift that uh, with the, with the help of the motor that mechanical energy will be lifted and we will store that in the overhead tank and from that we will distribute that in the entire house so this is a complete system. Complete system means component will be motor, pipings, overhead tank, under uh, overhead tank, uh, underground tank, other uh, things which are connected and fittings which are connected to the PHE pipe which comes from the main uh, uh, main what you call it a uh, tank from the PHE or the supply line from the PHE. This all is a complete system and these two these all components they will work together. And the working of these components together has working means means they have to achieve, they have to accomplish a particular goal. And that goal is to supply the water supply. That goal is to that goal is to supply the water to the complete uh, rooms in the houses. So that's the aim of that. This now, what is in this case, <clears throat> control is of water level or water is the uh, water. We need to control that, and that control is achieved. Either we achieve it physically sorry manually we go to the motor we switch on the motor and then we go to the tank and open the valve other things or we can use a ball valve or other valves which are automatically once we switch on the motor rest of things will be done by the system itself so but when we talk about the control system then it means the human intervention has to be least the human effort has to be least that's what is called a control system now if we talk about the system again, system is again a com combination of components that will act together and perform certain objective that we have already discussed. S then a system need not to be physical. Now somebody will say, sir, only this type of systems where we have mechanical energy converting to electrical energy or in your household items bread toaster is there or there can be other systems like you have oven in your house uh, achieving other things automatically cooking ranges uh, in your house lots of systems washing machine dishwashers these are are physical systems but when i talk about the system it's not necessary always the system need to be physical that means it will have a physical components in it the concept of physic uh, this sorry con concept of the system when you talk about the system it can be extended to it can be even if we talk about the concept of system it can be extended to any abstract that means which is not physically there a hypothetical system abstract type of system abstract is that which has no physical appearance then we can have a dynamic phenomenon then what we can have we can have a dynamic phenomenon where <clears throat> such as we we can encounter an econo economics economics when we study the budgeting when we study the economics of the uh, economy of a country that's also a complete systems because we should know what is the uh, how how can collect our taxes from the different people what are the level of the taxes we have to uh, the people of the country have to pay how we have to uh, subject them to the taxes what should be the level what should be the slabs and then once we collect the tax how we can collect that and that taxes how we can utilize on the uh, welfare of the people and 
not only on the sector of the wealth, uh, uh, health sector, but in the infrastructure, roads development, buildings, other sections, even on the country's defense. So that has to be done in a particular manner. And that complete system, that will be a complete system right from collection of the taxes and then utilizing those taxes in the fiscal year for the different development work, development infrastructure works, as well as for the uh, human welfare, uh, for the human development, as well as the country's defense, uh, defense budget, other budgeting. So that complete will again make a system. So we cannot say a system is only which will have a physical things, which will have a physical component symptom. A physical system can be a hypothetical system, or it can be a dynamic phenomena, such as in economics, we can make our country's economical system where we have budgeting and other things to be made for the country. So these all will come under the umbrella of system. So system is, uh, it is a physical system sometimes, but always we can't say it's, it's a physical quantity or it's a physical system which we can see. So the when I talk about the word system, so word system can be synonymously associated with I'll repeat the word system can be synonymously associated with or interpreted to, it can be interpreted to imply physical biological economical and likewise systems So when I talk about the word system, we can interchangeably be interchangeably use this system as a physical system or biological system or economical system. So that two systems will be your uh, that systems, all systems will be called as that those things will be called as systems. Now, what is important for a control engineer or an operator? Now, there will be operator in a plant. We can ha have an operator or we can have a control system engineer. Now, before going to the before before going to the before going to know the role of the control system engineer or an operator, first, when I talk about the system is made up of and numerous components, then I can say those numerous components of system will be comprised of subsystems. Subsystems are nothing but a number of components, number of com components that are connected together. to achieve certain objective or goal, whatever you want to write. So then those components I am giving the name of, for those components, I am giving the name as subsystems. So then what is the role of control system engineer or an operator? It becomes very important for a control system engineer or an operator needs to have a perfect knowledge of the subsystems. So what he needs to have, a control system engineer or an operator or control system engineer, he needs to have what? He needs to have the perfect knowledge of subsystems. Control system engineer or an operator needs to have a perfect knowledge of subsystems because these subsystems, these subsystems together will make subsystems. Sorry. Subsystems together will make a system. So I'm again repeating the control system engineer or the operator who is working in a different plant. A plant can be, it can be a chemical plant just in Middle East countries. We have Middle East countries. We have lots of chemical plants. It can be a petrochemical plant. It can be a hydro, it can be a hydroelectric power plant. 
it went it went be a natural gas gas plant any of this gas 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 and oil separator plants or it can be a cement plant it can be a food and beverage plant it can be any type of plants where we will have a different components of the devices working together as a subsystems and then to achieve or accomplish a particular goal a control system engineer or a particular operator is expected to have is expected to know the complete systems why he is expected because if he knows the ins and outs of the complete system or if he has a knowledge about the complete systems it not only helps the smooth system operation so it will help number one what it will do if he has a knowledge it will help in the smooth operation of the system so system will be working in in properly and then system operation is smooth number one also if there is any bug or we call it failure fault in a system if there is any bug failure fault in a system what he will do he will he will use his knowledge in order to remove this bug or failure he will use his knowledge when uh, he will use his knowledge and when he knows the system and it will take a minimum time for him to restore the operation of the plant or plant shutdown time can be minimized so i will repeat this but it will also what it will do what it will also help in removing any bug or failure whatever happens in the power system so as what will happen so as to minimize the plant shutdown time uh, when the system is malfunctioning so i will repeat this if a control system has a very a control system engineer has a very good knowledge so what he will do he will try to remove if in case of the malfunctioning of the system there will be a failure or there will be a bug in the system so what he will do he will minimize minimize the plant shutdown time he will minimize the plant shutdown time and there the losses as a result of the shutdown which will occur will be also minimized so losses to particular particular organization or company or company will be minimized so i'll repeat this that in case uh, number 1 a system will consist of the subsystems we have talked about number of components will be working together now what is the role of the operator operator or the control system engineer first of all operator or a control system engineer should know his subsystems very nicely he should have a complete knowledge about the subsystems what is the process where are the different types of instruments installed where is the control system where from the bug will come where the failure has occurred what is the malfunctioning he should know all these things what can be anticipated uh, this failures in the system once he knows his system properly then in any eventuality when there is a malfunctioning in the system or there is a failure in the system or a bug will occur in the system he will do what he will minimize the plant shutdown time and he will restore a particular component or a group of components which have resulted in the failure of the operation he will restore them in a very quick time and he will minimize the plant shutdown time as a result of which the particular losses which are going to occur to a particular company will be also minimized so control system engineer should have a very good knowledge about the system so that he can overcome the malfunctioning in any time if there is any eventuality of malfunctioning in the system he can overcome this so here also i will repeat it again here also a group of group of systems will be again involved let us group of systems is nothing but subsystems group of systems 
I, I will better write a subsystem group of subsystems will be again involved which needs to be designed which needs to be diagnosed and corrected so group of systems will be involved when there is a fault or a group assist a, a, a device or a group of devices that means a system a particular part of a subsystem or a number of subsystem will be involved so will be involved so the, those new those needs to be which need to be first diagnosed where is the fault where is the uh, bug and then an appropriate action should be taken to for correction then correct it to diagnose and then it will be to be corrected ये रोल नंबर फोर्टी थ्री इस टाइम मैं अलाउ कर रहा हूं नेक्स्ट टाइम आई विल नॉट अलाउ आई विल रिमूव यू फ्रॉम द ग्रुप इट सेल्फ यहां थोड़ा शोर है प्लीज बेयर विथ मी साइड वाले घर वाले हमें काम कर रहे हैं सो बेयर विथ अस ओके सो आई हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट ग्रुप ऑफ सिस्टम्स विल बी इन्वॉल्व विच नीड्स टू बी डायग्नोज विच नीड्स टू बी डायग्नोज एंड करेक्टेड okay but let's let's move further to a larger extent when we talk our lives on the earth will depend on our lives on the earth will depend on automatic control system what it will depend on automatic control system so we have number of such systems out of these will we have number of systems and we find them in the na nature number of systems will be natural systems and other will be man made systems and we call them artificial control systems we call them artificial control system cs yes, will be now onwards control system so i hope this is very clear so our life whichever we are living on the earth you will agree with me will depend on number of control systems some of them are natural control systems i will be talking about them some of some are man made control systems so if i am going to write now the definition of the control system i think it will be very clear what is the definition of the control system control system definition can be written in a simple words as control system is amalgamation that is combination is an amal amalgamation means combination mixture of different physical elements linked in such a manner so as to regulate so as to regulate comma direct or you can say also command itself to obtain a certain object so definition is very clear in a simple words control system comprises of the number of number of physical components which are connected in a particular manner so as to regulate that means whatever the regulation has to be done in a, in in small words regulation is called a controlling action whatever the control has to be done then we have to direct whatever the control action has to be done for that command has to be given 
that command has to be given and once that command has to be given control action will be achieved once the control action is achieved and then a particular objective or a particular aim will be accomplished and that is what it's a control system so control system we give an input to the control system the subsystems which will be present in the control system will process them and after that a certain output will be obtained so i'm not writing second definition second definition is a control system is a systematically arranged interconnection of components together act to provide a desired response response means output a desired response means what is our aim or objective desired response the response that is output or objective or aim so the number of uh, subsystems will be interconnected that will be interconnected together to provide a desired output or a desired response okay when specific input will be given given a specific input jab usko kuch input diya jayega given a specific input when the input will be given it will process it so let me draw it like this for a diagrammatically so so now what we have now we have we given input to any system then there can be a plant or a process so that means number of sub systems will be connected process means suppose simple terms in case of the uh, this irrigation field we have water as a uh, control variable and those complete systems including uh, piping including motor including tanks will be a complete plant that will be a complete plant and process will be that only that that fluid which will be flowing through the different uh, different pipings and output to be expected is that we need to irrigate all the land that's the output which was expected for us so i have already told you to a larger extent our life on the earth will depend on the water control systems some of them are natural control systems and some of them are man made that's called automatic control system very simple there is nothing difficult in this this was the definition of the control system so this is your definition okay now moving further now let's see an example number 1 sir you are talking about this natural and uh, artificial control systems what are what are those somebody may, may ask the questions so let me extend them let me elaborate them consider an example of the human body number 1 is a human body now i will first come to the natural systems and then from there i will move towards the automatic now human body what we have if we talk about a human body it's full of control systems human body is systems okay so what are those control systems for example now when the body is controlled full of control systems when we and in the human body there is continuous continuous operations continuous operations uh, there are continuous operations which are essential which are essential for our existence so i will see you there are a number of control systems i can just just after let me complete this point once there are number of control systems the operation of those control systems will continue it has to continue so that it's an obligatory for the existence of a human being that's a necessary that's a significant for the 
existence of a human being. Now, first control system, let's think of an automatic control system. First, you think about an automatic control system that is responsible for maintaining the body temperature. Responsible for maintaining the body temperature at 37 degrees centigrade or normally we write in Fahrenheit 98.6 Fahrenheit is the normal body temperature. So automatic control system responsible. Think of this system. This is involuntary. What we call involuntary in case of English, English language involuntary is which is beyond the control of our will. We can't do anything. So that's a natural control system, natural control system. And only the intervention of God is there. A human intervention cannot do anything. Neither you can keep it in control. You can take medicines. But when it will derail from the reading some 9.6, it can be higher. It can be lower due to some infections or due to some something. You have some other problems. And then uh, this uh, fever is an indication of a certain infection. So. Whenever you have certain problems, you can get fever and you th that's beyond the control. Maybe sometimes a food poisoning, you have not taken a proper food, food, food was not good or something. There was problem in the water, water was contaminated. There can be a number of reasons X, Y, Z for uh, you can get a, your body temperature will derail from what is the standard uh, measurement. So that who is controlling that? That is Almighty Allah is controlling, but human intervention is least in this case. You don't have any intervention in this case. So very clearly a natural control system. Number second is the system that regulates the heartbeats. Now, if we talk about the heartbeats, a human being or a plain human being, even a human being, even a super jet human being who has a very who has a very good knowledge about everything, anatomy and a very good doctor who is even a cardiologist, DM cardiologist, he has no control on the heartbeats. No control over the heartbeats. Sometimes, you know, your younger age, you don't have a problem. Once you start reaching towards 40, beyond 40, and you are, if your diet is not proper, you are not exercising properly, you are not utilizing your other things properly, then there will be uh, there will be some problem in the body. There can be your lipid profile can be changed or even cholesterol level can go high. And then uh, because of the junk food and other eating, there can be some other health problems. You can start gaining your weight with uh, by taking intake of this cold, cold drinks, which are highly undesirable for the health, junk foods, other foods uh, which are not healthy are considered if there is no leafy vegetables, healthy salads and lots of oil you take, then your body will start derailing from the uh, from, a, from a healthier person. You can you can become an unhealthier person because your lipid profile will not be proper. Your TLC, DLC, your uh, even your uh, this what you call it counts what is called I, I just forget those counts those counts can be also different and then uh, your cholesterol level your good cholesterol bad cholesterol will not be at their proper positions and other things uh, kidney uh, kft is called kidney functional test uh, liver functional tests will have problems in that case so you can get lots of prob problems if your food habits are not good particularly beyond 40 now it is we, have, we can see uh, it's a younger generation, this also will happen. But uh, in our youngster, we don't have any such problem. But once you reach 40s, this can be. So once there is a problem in the blood pressure, you can have a high blood pressure. The heartbeats will go high. Irregular heartbeats will be there. Uh, rhythms of the heart will be not be there. It should be somewhere up between 70, 60 to 90 is the normal heartbeats. But those uh, readings can change. And a person can feel very dis dis discomfort. Uh, while we'll be having the high heartbeats. So those heartbeats, a human being will have a least intervention in that case. A human being cannot do anything. These are regulated by Almighty Allah. And once you reach to a cardiologist or a specialist for this, then he will 
assign certain medicine he will provide you certain medicine then you have to follow that course and then still even following each and every medical advice still you will not be able to get the normal heartbeats if the problem has persisted for a longer time if the damage has been done but saying that it's automatic control system which is exclusively in the hands of almighty god almighty allah so this is another uh, what you call it natural control system then similar comment comments can be made by the operation of the kidneys another natural control system is operation of kidneys now you know nowadays there are lots of stones in the kidneys or uh, if once you do a kidney functional test then a very important in a very important vital point is in that is uh, what is that okay the main important point which you see oh i forget so that i'll tell you later on <laughs> that's not coming into my mind for particularly if kidneys for for a better operation of kidneys you should make you should you need to take 5 to 6 or may even 8 glasses of water every day but those you have to do in the how do you have to do morning two and then they should be taken take in the regular intervals you should not take uh, water in between the meals not after the meals before the meals you can take water so uh, once this operation is nice your urine flow is nice but sometimes in you have to go for the dialysis if you are i forget that name what is that uh, uh, what is that parameter if that parameter goes high then uh, god god forbids if that parameter is beyond control then you have to go for the somebody has to go for the dialysis and give, going to the dialysis is a very difficult and uh, so operation of kidneys again is a is a natural phenomena on which a human intervention will not be there but definitely if you have a healthier lifestyle you eat a healthy food you can keep your kidneys within those parameters where uh, your uh, parameters will remain uh, within the specified limits and you you don't have any problems for the kidneys and kidneys will function normally uh, the where the uh, urinary bladder they will allow the uh, purification of the urine in and urine will flow through the urine, urinary bladder properly those functions will be done by the kidney so this again is a natural control system where your kidneys are operational every days but god forbids if something is bad then you have to go for the doctor and see the medicine of the that one so this is again a control system which is natural control system there are other control systems uh, operations uh, that those operations are without the intervention or the conscious intervention of the human being human being cannot do anything in that case these are all things keep us well and alive and you have to wonder who has made all these systems so designer is only almighty allah who is doing all these things and we are existing we are living on this universe so this was something about the natural control systems now if we talk about we are also surrounded by the man made control systems which will operate now human being god has given a brain to the human being and he has utilized this brain and he had made certain man made control systems man made control systems the man made control systems can have high complexity but these systems operate automatically or sometimes we can operate them manually also but we are talking about the automatically they will operate uh, automatically and we use them in our daily lives also there are certain un in unding that means there are certain a lot lots of operational implementation there when we implement these control systems these control systems can be from a simple bread toaster man made control system from a simple bread toaster and it can be as complex as power plant to complex power plant a power plant is a very complex control system whereas a bread toaster is a very simple control system so there can be 
also how working of satellites working of satellites or in guided missiles nowadays you have a armed race in the subcontinent or even in the complete guided missiles these are all natural sorry these are all man made automatic control system working of satellites in nowadays if a country is very good in space they have they have a very good uh, installation of these satellites you can know what is enemy doing see india is also very good in satellites even america is much better in the this technology and they will provide you the every information what the other countries will be doing so satellite will give us a complete information what the enemy is doing what are its what are its designs how it is building up its uh, military installations military infrastructure or military capabilities how it's working so satellite will give us the complete information and we will know about these things and this is very important for nowadays and when you are talking about the gu guided missiles there's a prithvi in our india lots of missiles are there prithvi 1 prithvi 2 other missiles are also there so these are precision guided missiles see these these can be surface to surface missiles this can be surface to air missiles this can be air to air missiles there can be uh, surface to water missiles so number of missiles are there developed by different countries and the the way these missiles will be operating will be completely on the operating will be automatic control system that means they will have a particular a range where from they will start and where from they can hit a target and then what would be the speed of this this all will be done with the help of the automatic control system so control system becomes a very vital subject for any one to study when he comes to an engineering field particularly in the electrical electronics engineering field a very important things which we can do another examples of the control systems can be modern house no i am not talking about the umar abdullah's house uh, i am talking about the umar abdullah's house first not our house our houses will be have simple fans maybe we can have a simple acs modern house interior temperature how we control the interior temperature we are not talking about the kashmir nowadays it's very hot but still there is a one month only in other states like uh, uh, we have a union territory delhi or particularly if you go to punjab uh, neighboring states we are talking about and Uh, punjab haryana and then we talk about the uh, up uh, even bihar which is they, in summers they are very hot and if we talk about the modern operation of the modern house the in interior temperature will be controlled by a device called a thermostat interior temperature of modern house will be controlled by a device called a device interior temperature is controlled by a device which is called thermostat so thermostat basically has what it has a contacts and an input will be given when a specified control temperature will be a specified control variable in a sense that a particular variable will be given that we have to keep maintain the temperature to say 26 degrees or 25 degrees so if your temperature will go beyond that the contacts will open and <clears throat> it will bring it to the back to that uh, control variable that means 27 degrees if it will be lesser it will again contacts will open and temperature will be brought to the 27 degrees so automatically a system will be managed in such a way that whatever the temperature is required for the operation of the house that temperature a temperature near around plus minus 5% of the error can be maintained so this is a very clearly an uh, automatic control system then we can have temperature of water in a storage tank how we have to keep the we can also maintain the temperature of a water in a storage tank so that also is nothing but that also is a man made control system we can do that automatic control system of machines 
Now we have lots of machines in plants. Let's take a hydroelectric power plant, right from the dam. Then we have four bay, then we have spill work, then we have uh, penstocks. Once the water reaches the penstocks, then we have turbines, Francis turbine, then we have coupled with that will be generator. Mechanical energy will be converted in electric. So lots of machines will be there. So those machines will work automatically to have a particular, to achieve a particular objective. So that's also a uh, automatic control system and process in fundamental process is a fundamental of success of modern machines we have food industry food and beverage industry paper and pulp industry uh, then we have uh, chemical and petrochemical industry then we have oil and gas chemical and petrochemical industries all these are working on a automatic chemical and petrochemical petrochemical oil and gas in middle east particularly we don't have here ongc is there in india but particularly this will be uh, this you can more think about the middle east they have a lots of oil there and gas there so these all are control systems so it becomes very obligatory for a control system to know what are these systems and he must look for these control systems because these are very important for life if i will not say life is not impossible without but but it's next to impossible I will not say completely impossible, but it's next to impossible without these control system because lots of human effort will be reduced. Lots of machine is what machine is basically a device which will reduce a human effort. So when we have a very good sophisticated type of control systems, so lots of human efforts will be reduced and you can achieve the results in a very quick time, in a very quick time. And that will save your time and you can do other things on that case. So I think today's was the introduction class and uh, we'll conclude today here only. Uh, before stopping my, I guess I will stop the uh, recording. I'll stop for the recording.